the point of Grace Tame's story is one Australia has come to know well. I was targeted, stalked, isolated, groomed and repeatedly raped as a minor by a known serial pedophile. That man was convicted by a Tasmanian court of maintaining a sexual relationship with a child. In other jurisdictions, he would have faced charges of persistent sexual abuse of a child. The former charge implies consent, while the latter reflects the gravity and the truth of an unlawful criminal act committed against an innocent child victim. This is exactly what the former Australian of the Year explained to the country's attorneys general late last year. Shane Rattenbury has been quick to act. He'll introduce a bill tomorrow changing the language used in the Territory's laws. This is simply persistent sexual abuse of a child. That is how the offence should be named and I think having a clearer name uh, gives power back to the victim survivors. Yeah. The bill will also create an aggravated offence for family violence. Stop! And what that means is in the worst of cases, magistrates and judges will have the power to send somebody to prison for longer. A change that will hopefully give victims more confidence in the courts to deliver justice. For so long in the ACT, sentencing practices haven't matched community expectations or indeed that grave nature of injury caused by such violence. I believe these reforms, the new penalty regime, bring the ACT in much better alignment with community expectations. Miss Yates and Miss Tame both agree though, prevention is the real goal. To stop these things before they even start. That requires funding and education. We have to see significant investment in respectful relationships and related education at every age in every part of our community to achieve the cultural change that will lead to safer relationships. The bill's expected to get tripartisan support. Rosie King, ABC News, Canberra. And if you or anyone you know needs help, it's available from Respect and Lifeline using the numbers on your screen.